everyone. Hi, my name is Charlotte Russell Green, and I'm head of recruitment and admissions for the MBA program at Cambridge Judge Business School, part of the University of Cambridge. And my day-to-day job involves managing the recruitment cycle for the Cambridge MBA, the full-time MBA, and then obviously the admissions process that goes with that too. And any MBA is a massive investment. So to start off, I would recommend anybody do uh, some number crunching, working out affordability, what your return on investment is going to be, how much you can afford, so what your affordability is, you know, you're taking one year, two years out of work, and you're making a significant investment in yourself. I mean, it's a fantastic investment with brilliant opportunities, but you know, it's a big investment. So you, know, you need to make sure that it works for you. Um, the Cambridge MBA, the tuition fees for a one year full-time MBA at Cambridge is 64,000 pounds. Again, big investment with great opportunities. Um, And the additional costs that we expect for a single person living in Cambridge uh, for the full year would be £18,000. So that would be, you know, uh, rent, uh, food, uh, living expenses, that kind of thing. And then, of course, there are setup costs with that as well. So getting a mobile phone, getting a laptop in the UK, a couple of hundred pounds you know, would be expected for that. Um, I am going to highlight a really useful resource uh, for students out there thinking about coming to the UK to study as well, because 90% of our students are international. Um, There's a website called UK CISA, so UK C-I-S-A, and that stands for the Council of International and Student Affairs. And that is a great resource for anyone coming to the UK to study, because it has all the information about healthcare, insurance, visas, everything like that, any sort of hidden costs in moving to the UK. The University of Cambridge is made up of 31 different colleges, and that is where you are going to be living, socialising, doing your extracurricular activities that are college specific, so any sort of rowing, or rugby, debate team, anything like that. It's a fantastic experience. Um, and if you Google as well, the college college dining, you'll see their kind of Harry Potter-esque dining halls, really, really beautiful. Um, the college expenses are actually included in the tuition fee. So there is a college membership fee, but that is included in the Cambridge MBA tuition fee. And then any accommodation costs come under that 18,000 pounds additional umbrella. Um, One thing to bear in mind is that they have what's called the May Balls, which are hosted in June, very confusing, uh, very, very Cambridge, Um, and they can cost a little bit of money to attend those, you know, getting your outfit um, because it's obviously formal attire. Um, But that's kind of comes under the umbrella of the £18,000 fee, uh, living expenses as well. And one thing to note on the living expenses is that um, if you are bringing your partner or children, then obviously to budget more for that too. Cambridge is an expensive city to live in as well. It's not as expensive as London, but it is an expensive city because it's got a lot of it's got a lot of new business, a lot of a lot of money floating around, a lot of you know um, industry that comes out of the university and the business school, and it's also a very very beautiful and and sought after place to live. Um, but the benefit of coming to a, a a business school where there is the collegiate system is that the accommodation within the college is subsidised and therefore cheaper. Um, You often get kind of bundles where your bills are included as well. So there is a real cost benefit to that. Of course, um, and as I said, the, an MBA is a really, really big investment. There's no shying away from it. So we do have a lot of scholarships available. We actually have two types of funding available on the Cambridge MBA. We have scholarships, which is the long list that you can see on the website. And those that's the funding that you apply to. Um, we have the scholarships that promote you know, regional diversity, professional diversity, gender diversity. So we're members of the Forte Foundation, um, LGBTQ+, so we're members of ROMBA as well. Um, we give scholarships for academic excellence. We give scholarships to the military, entrepreneurs. So there's lots of scholarships that you can apply to. Um, And then we also have bursaries as well. So this is funding you can't apply to, but is offered at the discretion of the admissions committee. If you're kind of looking or you're used to the kind of big US institutions, then you'll be aware of financial aid offices. And the 
our business school, our MBA, we don't have a financial aid office. So we don't advertise financial aid because it's not designated in the way that, you know, larger US institutions are. But we have, um, as I said, the regional based scholarships that promote regional diversity. And that is where we really take into account candidates that are coming from areas of the world and locations where you know, coming to the UK to study is just going to be significantly more expensive. And therefore, we're offering those scholarships to kind of even out the playing field and make it more affordable. Um, that is also where uh, the, the bursary is offered by the admissions committee come into play as well. So they're offered at the discretion of the admissions committee and often based on, on the individual circumstances of the candidates. Around 60 to 70% of our class every year get some kind of funding from us. So we do put a lot into our incoming students. So we don't offer full scholarships at Cambridge. You have to be able to, to pay for a certain amount of it. Um, but they range from £10,000 to £35,000. But sometimes people can get offered a scholarship so they might be awarded a scholarship and they also get a bursary as well so our scholarships go up to £35,000 um, but you might also get a bursary on top of that as well so some people have had £40,000-£45,000 from us in total. Everybody is trying to get the best deal that they can and that's completely understandable it's expensive and affordability can come into play as well and um, there can also be cultural differences as well so in some cultures it's quite common to negotiate so that's absolutely fine and you know i don't get um don't get offended by it but i don't like to get into bidding wars uh, simply because we want students that want to come here that are invested in coming here and aren't just coming because they want the money um or because they're going to the highest bidder. You know, we want people that are really invested in the Cambridge MBA. We have a class of around 200 people. It's a really close-knit community of people that are expected to bring something to the table and bring energy to collaboration. So, you know, I'm not interested in getting into bidding wars. I can understand and I appreciate it when someone does tell me what their situation is, because that kind of transparency is actually quite useful. I think if someone says, you know, I've got this offer, um, but, you know, we, I think admissions directors steer clear of bidding wars for that reason. It's, you know, we want people that are invested in the programme. Technically, the answer is no, because part of the terms and conditions of studying at Cambridge, because it's such an intense one year programme, you're not going to have an awful lot of time to do anything else. And to have that pressure on you to then work at the same time, it would really just be too much. So as part of the handbook and the terms and conditions that you get when you get here, it does state that you can't work while you're, while you're studying. It really would just be too much. We are looking for people who obviously are, are hardworking, they're ambitious, they're go-getters. Um, but we're specifically looking for people who really have a passion for collaboration. You know, the healthy competition, um, the helping each other out to make each other better sort of environment. That's that's what we have. There's, there's so many practical collaborative hours on the Cambridge MBA. So if you're the kind of person that likes to sit and study alone and kind of work through things, then this is not the MBA for you. You know, we're wanting people that are going to, to bring something to the table and bring that energy to collaborative learning um, and through that you know that's where you really build those those meaningful relationships with your future post-MBA network. Mm -hmm.